there's a very cool fungus, the tarantula cordyceps. And if you're familiar with cordyceps, you know where this is going, but I'm gonna say it anyways. This one is a little freaky, even for me, so if you're a little bit squeamish, I would recommend scrolling away. Cordyceps are a type of fungus that are well known for parasitizing other things, almost entirely insects, but this one is on spiders specifically. Now, while it is called the tarantula cordyceps, tarantulas are not the only thing it infects. It can also infect bird-eating spiders, trapdoor spiders, basically any large, creepy spider, you know? It acts basically the same as every other type of cordyceps mushroom. It spores land on the host, it enters it, it lies in wait, reproduces, and then the fruiting body sprouts up out of the spider or insect or whatever and takes over. What's interesting about these ones though, since most of these spiders that it infects burrow underground, that's where they live and spend most of the time, when the time for the fruiting bodies to sprout comes, the tarantula or the trapdoor spider or whatever may be underground in its burrow, so this fungus has to like work its way out of the burrow sometimes, which can be a decent bit of a maze, so it has to find its way out so the fruiting body can actually release more spores. And in the case of things like trapdoor spiders, where they actually have a door covering the entrance, it has to actually push out and open the door, which it does. It can open the door from the inside so that its fruiting body can get to the air where it can release spores, which I just think is really cool that this fungus has actually evolved ways to be able to make its way out of a sometimes very deep burrow, uh, out from underground into an open area where it can release its spores.